Let's have a look at square and triangular grids now. So these can be enabled in your document and you can draw onto these grids and snap objects to them so you can have a more orderly arrangement of objects for things like icons, uh, geometric work or any kind of architectural and formal drawing. So I'll start with creating a very basic document which is 600 by 600 pixels in dimension and 72 dpi. I'll click OK. And I now want to show you how you can create a grid. So from the view menu, select grid and axis manager. So I'll just enable that. So by default, the grid is set to automatic, but I need to show the grid first. So I'll just enable show grid. And you might see uh, a grid just appear there. Now, what I like to do is boost the grid um, contrast with the background so you can see the lines showing a little bit better. And I'll boost the subdivision so you can be sure you've got subdivisions set. I think that's about right there. So in automatic mode, if I just press the Alt key to zoom in and out with my uh, mouse wheel, as I zoom in, you'll see that the grid regenerates as I keep zooming in all the time. If I zoom back out, I'll come back to where we were before. So this is in contrast to the other mode, which is basic. And the basic grid means that when we zoom in, we'll always get a fixed grid of spacing 64 pixels no matter how far we zoom in and you can see that just getting larger that grid all the time. So that's the main difference between automatic and basic. Okay so let's just focus on this basic mode for a moment. So at the moment the default is spacing of 64 pixels but you could have 32 But for the icon design setup I want to show you, I want to set the spacing to 64. So I'll be pushing out 64 pixel icons and I want to set a division of 8. Okay. So before I add an object on the grid, I want to show you how you can snap to grid by enabling it from the snapping option. So first of all, let's enable snapping at the top toolbar and then click the down arrow and then enable snap to grid. So this ensures absolute accuracy when we're drawing onto the grid itself, especially when you're drawing from scratch. So with this particular uh, tool, let's say a rectangle tool, I'll just draw onto the grid And you can see that well, I'm getting snapping lines there. So there's a, uh, like a red line horizontally showing horizontal snapping and a green line showing vertical snapping. So with that rectangle drawn there, I've got it absolutely accurate. If you see down here on the transform panel, an absolutely accurate rectangle, which is of 64 by 64 pixels. If I switch snapping off and do the same again and try to do this by eye, it's very difficult to get it right. And you'll see there we've got 63.2 by 64.5, which is not accurate at all. So I'll just switch that back on, show you that we can just draw here and we're back to 64 by 64. Taking a real example, if I paste some copied icons that I've copied previously, you see the icons come in and can be positioned accurately on the grid like this. Now I'm interested in saving this grid setup for use at a later date. So what I can do is I can just go to the top here to this icon, just click it and select Manage Presets. Initially create a custom category, we'll call this My Grids. 
I'll click Create. Close out of the Preset Manager. Go back into the icon and select Create Preset. And this is where I'll be able to add the grid name that I want to save. So it's grid 64 pixel, eight divisions. And remembering to uh, select a category, the custom one I've just created, my grids, and click create. So at any point in the future, when I come back to the grid and axis manager, I can click this presets drop down and it will be available for me to select. And the grid will be reinstated as saved. Okay, let's look at triangular grids now. So if I just click away from there, and just access this advanced tab here, you'll see that we can change the grid type to triangular. And in a similar fashion, we can set, say, uh, in this case, I can make it a larger value, 128 pixels, and you get a kind of a triangular 2D grid on which you can design onto.